All right. Hey there, and welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about the holiday season, and we're going to talk about one of what I think is one of the best things to really focus on in the holiday season, and that's your ability to bring joy to others or to bring love to others or to bring positivity, you know, upliftment, whatever you want to call it. Right. I don't know if up upliftment is a word, right? But uh, it doesn't matter. Uplifting others, you know, and, um, you know, before we dive in again, if you could help us out and, and support the show by liking and subscribing, as well as leaving a comment or review on iTunes. Again, we just really appreciate it because it just helps with uh, with the show. So um, if, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty, and I'm the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of the AAA Response. And so today I want to just talk about, so in the, in the last episode, we talked about the holiday season and how it can be a source of stress for people, or at least, you know, perceived a source of stress. And we talked about some things we can do to you know, kind of making sure we're in alignment and setting intentions and, um, you know, obviously kind of making sure we're not bringing in stories that are actually going to cause us to resist the, um, or fight with the present moment. And so a lot of belief structures around the, um, the holidays, but in this episode, I want to just talk about a very practical thing, which is learning to see and be aware of and take opportunities to bring joy to others during this time of year. Now, obviously, I think this is, should be something we do just throughout the year in general, but specifically during this time, if you find yourself stressed or anxious or feeling depressed, um, you know, one, understand that that feeling is temporary and it's something that you're currently navigating and it will pass with time. It's not who you are. And, and, you know, but if you're feeling that way, a lot of times we can, we can bring more stories into that of, I shouldn't be feeling this way. This is the holidays. I'm supposed to feel happy, which oftentimes brings us down even lower if we're, if we're holding on to belief structures like that. So this holiday season, especially if you're feeling like that, instead of focusing on, I need to bring myself up or I need to make myself happy and I need to feel happy now, what that does is usually, in my experience, is it creates resistance to the feelings that are currently in your body. And by resisting them, you actually, they, they persist longer. So your ability to feel whatever you're feeling is, is a very important part to, to um, you know, just your overall health and well-being and, and, and not judging that experience. That being said, what we can do is we can get over-focused on that sometimes, you know, and, and we can start to say, well, I'll, I'll start doing the things I want to do when I feel a hundred percent or like myself or all of that. And that's a, that's a, another, you know, kind of like the opposite end of the, of the spectrum that is equally unhealthy in my opinion, because the reality is, is that you don't want to get over-focused on yourself all the time. And one of the things that I think is very helpful is to, figure out and look for ways that you can bring joy and love and uplifting experiences to other people. Not, not because it, it is necessarily going to make you feel good. Although that does happen sometimes. And I don't know that that's a, that's necessarily a good reason because actually, actually that's a paradoxically, it's a selfish reason to do it. But I'm talking about like just truly selfless acts that that can can produce just profound effects and changes on people's days that might mean leaving a, a, a large tip you know when you go out somewhere and then leaving and, and not making it about yourself and please don't do something like you know film it on social media and, and you know show everyone how quote unquote great you are for doing this I'm not talking about those acts. I, I don't believe those acts are even, you know, truly acts of, uh, of displaying love for people because I mean, there's this always this backdoor intention of getting praise and, and, you know, uh, getting receiving praise and admiration from people when you're doing this stuff on social media that I see people do. 
And, um, and yeah, you can say that I'm being judgmental right now. And that's, that's, you know, in some respects, that's true. But, but at the end of the day, wh what I'm talking about here is a pure intention of bringing joy to someone else with no intention and, and no, um, you know, real, real care, whether you receive or not. Like, and I, and I think that bringing that pure intention of like, I'm just going to do something for this person. And yes, that might mean, and, and again, there's so many ways to give. So it's not about just financially. Sometimes it's just spending time with people. Sometimes it's giving your time. Sometimes it is going down to the local food bank or the local and, and volunteering to provide someone a hot meal. And, and just, just spending your time doing that. Um, sometimes it means donating. Sometimes it means, again, those, those nice tips that you can leave for when you go get ice cream and you know, that, that extra tip that you give that somehow like is like changes that person's life because you just left them a tip that was, you know, a full hour or two hours of work, you know, and, and these, these time, this time of year is a great way to bring joy to people's lives. You know, I heard, um, I was in, in the group the other day, uh, someone was talking about how they will go to the post office and all the kids that write letters to Santa Claus, they'll take some of the, like, you know, the post office, I guess would, I went and tried to sit in my post office and it didn't work. And so, cause I liked the idea. Um, but, uh, they, they didn't have something like this, but in, in this person's post office, they were like, they, they, the post office would give letters that kids wrote to Santa Claus and you could read the letters and then ultimately like mail them presents or try to fulfill like whatever their wish is, you know, to the best of your ability. And, um, you know, I mean, I mean, there's just donations for, you know, uh, the kids in, social services. I mean, I remember when I worked for social services, like this was a big time of year where people had the opportunity to give, um, to, to kids without families and stuff. And, um, I mean, there's just so many ways to do this and, 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 you know, that doesn't have to be big either. Sometimes it's just simply when you're walking, paying that compliment to the person. I mean, like we don't realize how powerful our words are sometimes as, as ways to bring joy to others, but it's that text to someone you haven't seen in a while. It's like, Hey, you know, I was just thinking about you and, you know, I just really hope that you're doing well and, uh, and wishing you great success in whatever you're doing. Like, think about if you received a text like that from someone, it's like, that would, that would lift you up. And when you start to understand that you can be a source to bring people up and, and, you know, for, for, for a lot of people, I think we just live in a, in a world sometimes where I feel like most people's focus is to try to bring other people's down, you know, other people down, whether it's gossiping or just, you know, just not, not authentically rooting for people uh, to do well, you know, hoping that you, you know, really getting so focused on yourself. But again, what happens is when you start putting that out in the world, there, there is some weird way where it does come back to you. And I, and I don't think you should put it out so you get back. But when you authentically and purely put it out with, without the intention of getting it back, I feel like that's when it comes back. And, it, and it's the strangest thing, but I've seen it again and again in my own life. And I think that if you focus on the holiday season and trying to, again, make it how you want it or trying to set these expectations that it's supposed to be, instead of really bringing in to the spirit of what this season really is about, and it's not about consumerism, it's not about buying the most expensive and craziest gifts you can for people. Although, you know, in some, in some cases, that's, that might be a great way for you to do it. It's just about you, again, letting go of focusing on yourself all the time and saying, Hey, like, what can I do for someone else? How can I bring joy into someone else's life today? How can I literally be the, the catalyst for that? And if you start to set that intention, what will happen is you will find ways you're, you're, you will find ways for, for that to happen. And it will just be obvious to you. But, but so many of us, what we're doing is we're setting the intention for our own feeling state. And like, I want to not feel how I'm feeling, or I want to feel this way. And then therefore we look for the world to accommodate us. 
or to make us feel that way. And then when that doesn't happen, it harbors all sorts of other feelings. And, and I really think, and this is what's interesting when you read, um, you know, about like Lester Levinson, right. Who was the, you know, really one of the pioneers of the Sedona method and all that when he was going through his life, he said, you know, the, the times I felt the most joy is when I was loving, not being loved. And, you know, I really do. I really do believe that when you, when you start to bring joy to others and doing it with a very pure intention that it will naturally lift you up as well. I really do believe that. But, but I think going in and, and making sure your intentions are pure on, on why you're doing what you're doing and really focusing on bringing something to someone else, that, that is a key aspect to it. So, you know, obviously like I know we, it's easy to get lost in the chaos of everything, but over the next few weeks, you know, as we're closing out 2022, just, just ask yourself ask one thing a day, one little thing a day, one nice compliment a day, one text to someone that you haven't texted in a while, one buying someone coffee behind you, you know, one, you know, I'm going to donate a toy to, you know, whatever it is, man, you know, and again, this isn't like, it's not meant to be some grand idea that I'm sharing here today. What it's about is getting you out of only focusing on yourself and starting to focus on just the, the many other people out there that also are, you know, maybe even a, in a worse off situation than you are. And when we start focusing on bringing each other up in whatever ways that we can, I think that, yes, it will come back to you, but it's just such a better way to live with each other. I mean, it just really is. And, and, and it's not just doing the one-off thing and kind of looking at it as a check off the box thing. It's about getting that inner, inner intention, you know, like really deep in your heart where it's like, I want to shine light on somebody. I want to bring this person up. I want to give love in a way, in whatever way that is time, you know, uh, monetary items, um, you know, or just compassion, right. You know, whatever it is, but like really, really focusing on bringing that and realizing that you can actually be a source of that, a cause of that. It's very, very powerful. And I just wanted to share that today because I think moving into the season, it's easy to get caught in the, in the, fast paced stuff. It's easy to get caught in your own stories. It's easy to get caught in your own experience. And when you can let that go, <clears throat> even for a little bit, you can start to bring that to someone else. And when we start to realize that we collectively can do that for, for others, it can, it can just, it can change people's lives. And, and I mean, it, and you don't, you don't realize how little, how something so little can be so profound for some, whether it is, you know, again, buying a Christmas dinner that they can cook or a bike for a family that can't afford a bike for their child. And, and that child now is a bike. It's like just, just the things out there, the opportunities out there are endless. And, and, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that there's a certain thing that you should or need to do because you don't need to do anything. It's just about, if you even start looking for it, you'll find it. And that's what I think this season really is about um, from, from the highest level is, is, the, is the act of giving and being a, a cause of love in the world. Um, so anyways, I uh, wanted to share that today. Um, hope it was helpful. And with that said, I hope you guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. And so if you're struggling with OCD and anxiety, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free training for you um, over at Restored Minds where you can start learning how to use our AAA response to really break out of that loop and ultimately take back control of your life. And all you need to do to get access is just click the little link below and you'll be taken to a page where you can register today. Thank you so much.